So before I get into that, let's talk a little bit about what the fuck is machine learning? Because it's something that I think a lot of people don't really understand. I'm sure in this crew, almost all of you understand it in some way, but you have to take the, prepar you know, the, the remarks that I prepared here tonight, so I'm just gonna go ahead and walk through this. The way I have been explaining it to people, and I'll be curious tonight to have anybody who here sort of help me refine this, because I'm trying to get better at it, is you have a big amount of messy data. You don't know what to do with it, you don't want to pay people to go through it, you don't want to have to sit yourself and go through it. So instead, you find comparable data, training data, that in some way has either direct application to the data you're looking at, it's like a tiny subset of it, or it's close enough of a parallel that it might be useful in some way. You use that to then create basically examples of right and wrong answers that you can give to an algorithm. And then, using those right and wrong examples, instead of just straight coding instructions, you can then turn that algorithm loose to apply the rules it has learned on the messy data that you started with. So here's an example of how that might work. Let's say you want to ask an algorithm, okay algorithm, tell me which is which. Which is a cow and which is a dog. Tell me the difference between these two things in a bunch of photographs I'm about to give you. Or, you know, in some other piece of, you know, some data that's full of cows and dogs. Tell me the difference between these two things. If you give the system enough cows and tell it, this is, these are correct pictures of cows, and you give it enough pictures of dogs and say these are actually dogs, you can, in fact, teach it enough examples that it can draw the distinction between the two. The AI uses patterns to label the data. That's really all it comes down to. So, when you think about it in terms of just a system that just is trying to draw a distinction between categories, you really begin to understand that it doesn't actually know anything beyond the basic, barest minimum it needs to distinguish between those two things. So let's say that in a bunch of data you've got on cows and dogs, there are two variables you can look at. There's size and there's slobber, right? <laughs> it picks those out, says, oh, here's, here's one that's really consistent in the examples you've given me. And out of that, it can begin charting. Oh, the dogs fall into the slobber category and they're a little smaller in size. Here's the cows, they're bigger. They slobber some, but not too much. And out of that, you can draw this line that distinguishes between the two. This one is dogs, sorry, this one is cows. This side, dogs. You're just teaching it how to distinguish between the two. People think that they're, I, I think sort of the misperception among the, the you know, many, many people that I talk to tends to be that there's something so more sophisticated going on than this, but really it is just describing the difference. Machine learning really just uses the patterns to just draw that distinguishing line. That's really all it comes down to. So I think that for me that what's so important to understand is that it doesn't really know anything about dogs or cows. It just knows the simplest possible way to tell the difference based on the data you've given it. Mm -hmm.